Hi, and thank you for watching. Uh, today we're going to talk about Apple CarPlay on your new Kenwood Exelon radio. So stay tuned. So they're finally here. The wait is over. The new Exelon radios are in stock and people are asking questions about them and we have answers. This particular answer is about Apple CarPlay. One of the reasons why it took so long to come out. A lot. A lot of time, a lot of time. But it has it, and we're gonna show you how to use it. Cool, right? All right, so, now, if you have a USB, you may have a second USB. But the one you're worried about is the one that says iPod, iPhone. What you wanna do is take your Apple plug and plug it in. And that's as hard as it gets. It doesn't matter whose phone, there's no pairing, there's no magic, there's no anything. Plug your phone in. Now, if you have a second cable, it will not do two Apple CarPlays. It'll just do one. So we're going to go ahead and pretend that one doesn't exist for right now. Let's take a look at the face of the radio and touch some buttons. Now, once your phone is plugged in, you're going to get this cool green icon that says Apple CarPlay. Before you plug your phone in, you're going to get a, a screen that says mirroring. All the mirroring is is a placeholder for Apple CarPlay. So if you go ahead and touch it, it'll go ahead and bring up Apple CarPlay. Now these icons should look extremely familiar to you. Because they're the same icons that are on your phone. And the reason for that is this is a software built by Apple that Kenwood has licensed use of. And because you have an iPhone, you get it too. Now over here you'll have your phone information. You'll have your cool magic button. This is what's going to launch Siri. Now you're saying, oh great, Siri. This is a different Siri than what you've known before. She does all kinds of new and fascinating things. So for example, let's press and hold her. Siri, is there a Taco Bell anywhere around me? Looking. One option is Taco Bell, which averages five stars. Perfect. Okay, so that's just one example. Now, the thing you have to remember is that all these buttons up here, they're redundant. They're make-you-feel-good buttons. You don't actually have to use any of them. Now, if you do happen to press an icon, it's going to show your contacts. So in this case, it's showing my favorites, it's showing my recent. If I want to do all my contacts, I can come over here and tap, and I can scroll up and down. Okay. If you need an old-school keyboard, you can do that. Or you can just press and hold. Call Fernando Lopez. <laughs> Calling Fernando Lopez. And it'll go ahead and call Fernando. Even though he's standing right next to me. You know, we're tight like that. Now, some of the other apps that you can download are like over here. And it's going to act just like your phone. Oh, we just got a text message. Tap it. No. Okay. Now, if I wanted to reply, she'd ask me a bunch of questions and we could reply. But let's get back to it. So, you have iHeartRadio, you have Spotify, you have Pandora, you have NPR. The more you get, the more it will take up. Now, the things it will not do, as you can see, these are mainly audio. And that's because all it will do is audio. It's not going to do things like Netflix, Hulu, YouTube. That's not what it's designed for. It's designed for you to keep your hands on 10 and 2 and make your life easier. Yay! So if you have an iPhone and it's got a lightning connector, you can plug it in and you can get Apple CarPlay. The nice thing is, is you have a big family and a few cars and you put this in there, anyone driving the car automatically gets Apple CarPlay. So you don't have to worry about them getting in and pairing up a Bluetooth or doing anything like that. It automatically does that. It'll give them all their things, all their contacts, all their music, so they can safely drive in your car and not you don't have to worry about them putting the phone up to the side of their head or typing a text message while they're driving or doing any of that stuff because it's already built into the unit. They can keep their hands at 10 and 2. Now if you have steering wheel controls built into the car, you can program one of the steering wheel control buttons allow you to program one of the buttons as the Siri button. So you don't have to always press the radio. You can just take one of the buttons on the steering wheel and do the same thing. Makes things really cool. Easy. 
easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, that's uh, CarPlay. Yes, sir. Say the magic words. Thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And if you like our videos, please subscribe. We like it greatly when you do that. It makes us feel all warm and fuzzy. If you have a comment, feel free to leave it down below, and I will get back to you. I never sleep. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.